Okay, so at this point in time, we're going to talk about the structural characteristics of carbon. So that is according to our new module. So for you to answer the learning task 1, it says, determine what kind of carbon allotropes are the given pictures below based on its different structural modification. So dun sa learning task na yun, ano ba yung mga... Um, name ng carbon allotropes according to that picture. So, based on that structure. Number one, ano ba yung carbon allotropes? So, when we say allotropes, so allotropes are different structural modifications of an element such as carbon, where carbon is an element that exhibits allotrophy. Now, we have different kinds and structures of carbon allotropes. We have amorphous carbon. Amorphous carbon is a material containing carbon is burned without enough oxygen for it to burn completely. So this one, okay, um, remember this one, it is a structure of amorphous carbon. Next, we have graphite. So graphite, one of the softest materials known, is a form of carbon that is primarily used as a lubricant. So the structure of this carbon allotrope, this one. Okay? So, ganyan ay tsura niyan. So, mostly graphite, matatagpuan natin yon sa pencil. That is, yun yung tiyatawag na lead, pero hindi talaga siya lead. Uh, that's si the graphite part. Meaning, yun ay carbon. So, the hard, if graphite is the surface, the hardest one naman is the diamond. So, this one, the diamante. So, this is a uh, structural uh, modification of carbon ng isang diamond. So, diamond, kung mapansin nyo, hindi siya isang element. Isa siyang isa siyang part ng carbon. So, ang element ay yung carbon. So, diamond is a kind of carbon allotrope. Okay? Next, we have what we call white carbon. White carbon is the fourth allotrope of carbon known as white carbon. was produced in 1969. A transparent material that can split a single beam of light into two beams, a property known as bifringence. So that is an example of white carbon. The other one we have what we call the buckyballs. So buckyballs, it is a large molecules consisting only of carbon. So yan, carbon yan. A single buckyball consists to 60 to 70 carbon. For example, itong buckyball na ito, nagko-consist ng, it's either C60 or we have um, 60 carbon. The other one naman, pwedeng 70 carbon. So, it looks like yung soccer ball. Ayan. So, as you can see, Parang soccer ball. So, this one, pag nakita kayo ng gantong structure sa so learning task 1, it means it is an example of buckyballs. So, we have the lens the light. So, this is a kind of structure niya. One of kind of carbon allotropes. And also, we have carbon nanotube. So, we have the armchair, zigzag, and chiral structure of carbon nanotube. So, for learning task 2, so, sabi dun, draw the shape of the three fundamental structures of carbon-based molecules. We have straight chain, rings, and branch chains. So, after that, draw one thing that resembles the said structure that commonly see in your daily lives. So, ano ba yung mga structure ng carbon? So, we have three fundamental structure. We have the straight chain, branch chain, and we have the rings. So, for a straight chain, as you can see, meron tayong carbon, 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 carbon. At doon sa apat na carbon na yun, may naka-attach na hydrogen. So, as you can see, yung structure ng carbon na ito ay straight, di ba? So, example, the ethane, straight. We have two carbon. Profane, we have three carbon. One, two, three. It's still straight siya. For the double composition, yan. Straight siya, straight. So, it's an example of straight chain carbon based molecules so example halimbawa straight ano ba yung mga example ng straight na pwede example belt di ba straight siya okay the second one we have the branch chain 
So branch chain, as you can see, mention branch. Kita niyo yung carbon alignment. Di ba kanina si straight chain, diretso lang. Pero dito, meron siyang carbon, carbon, carbon. Para siyang branch. Ano, para siyang tree. Para siyang branch ng isang puno. Meron siyang mga branching. May mga branches. Ano? So meaning, hindi straight yung carbon. May mga naka-attach sa kanya. Example, this one. So ilang carbon to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8. Yung 8, hindi siya diretso. Pwede siya naka-attach sa pang ilang carbon. Okay? The other one, we have the rings. So, rings, yan. Kung mapansin nyo, parang siyang cheese ring. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yan. So, meron tayong ring structure. Example, the cyclopentane. Pag kasi naka-ring na siya, cyclo na ang tawag natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 carbon. Kaya cyclopentane, cyclohexane, Benzene, and we have the pyridine. So, ano ba yung example niyan? Doon sa module, ang nakalagay ay para siyang crown, di ba? So, yun ang binigay na example. So, as you can see on that one, so that is the three fundamental structure we have, the straight chain, branch chain, and we have the rings. So, for learning task 3 naman, sabi doon, given the value of N, write the names and molecular formulas of a straight chain alkane. So, we have the formula of C sub N, H2N, C is the carbon, H is the hydrogen, 2 times N plus 2. So, ano ba yung general formula ng straight chain alkene? We have C, N, H2 sub N plus 2. So, as you can see, this is straight chain alkene, meron na siyang number of carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 10. Then, we have the carbon name. Pag isa lang carbon, methane yung name niya. Then, yung molecular formula niya is CH4. Ano? Yung structural formula niya, CH4 pa din. So, bakit naging ganon? Bakit CH4? So, as you can see, uh, okay, let me present by using pen. Okay? CH4. So, for example, so, sa methane, kasi, pag i-expand natin yan sa expanded formula, so, meron tayong C. So, meron tayong C. Ay, ang pangit. Murayin ko, ha? Hmm? Paano mo mura? Ganyan? Ay, check lang, ha? I will, ano? Ayan, eraser. Erase yan. So, I will using, and I will use a pen. So, as you can see, structure formula, bakit apat yung hydrogen? So, isang carbon lang, di ba? Isang carbon. Tapos, doon sa isang carbon na yon may naka-attach na apat na hydrogen. So, yun yun, ano? So, may naka-attach dyan na apat na hydrogen. At natatawag natin dyan ay methane. So, isa siyang gas. Methane gas. So, yan yung expanded. Ibig sabihin, pag expanded, pinalawak mo pa. Ano? So, CH4. Ilang C? Isa lang. Ilang hydrogen? Apat. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Ethane. For example, ethane. Ilan daw ang carbon ng ethane? Dalawa. So, let us draw an ethane. So, we have ito, isa. So, ethane, isa. Dalawa. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawang carbon. So, ilan ang hydrogen na naka-attach sa kanya? Tingnan natin. Hydrogen 1. Meron dito ang hydrogen 2. Okay. Hydrogen 3. Hydrogen 4. Hydrogen 5. And hydrogen number... 6. Kaya 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, anim. ba? Okay, so anim siya. Or, kaya siya sa structure, ito yung expanded formula ang tawag natin dito. So, bakit anim? Bakit hindi walo? Kasi, di ba ito H? Ito yan. So, hydrogen plus hydrogen nag-bond. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung dulo nito, meron siyang hydrogen bond. Tapos dito, may isa pang hydrogen. So, nag-bond silang dalawa. So, ito, bakit to si H3? So, ito yung kung titingnan mo, yung isang carbon, meron siyang tatlong Yung isang carbon, meron siyang tatlong hydrogen na naka-attach, kaya CH3. Then, yung pangalawang carbon, meron din siyang hydrogen na naka-attach, kaya siya ay CH3 pa din. 
Okay? So, gumamit dyan ng formula. Alright? So, ito yung formula na ginamit. So, let's have an example. So, we have yung propane, pagtatlo, pagapat, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, and decane. Example. Example, the general formula, we have C and H2N plus 2. If N is equal to 3, what is the name? And what is the molecular formula? Okay, so let's have an example. So, sabi doon, so yung formula natin, CN, diba? Then H2N, H sub 2 times N plus, plus what? Plus 2. So, let us substitute the value of N. So, C, so 3, then H, we have 2 times 3, plus 2. Okay? So, what's what would be the answer? So, the name I, we have C3, Automatic na yun. So, 2 times 3, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. Okay? So, the, ito yung kanyang molecular formula. Okay? Ito yung kanyang molecular formula. So, what is the name? Anong name nito? Since tatlo siya, so, balikan nga natin yung naming. So, tatlo. So, siya ay C3H8. So, siya ay profane. So, kaya ang name nito ay, what is the name? So, ang name niya ay propane. Okay, propane siya. Okay, so ilagay natin nga siya sa expanded formula. So, gawa tayo ha, tatlong carbon. Tapos, lagay natin ng attachment na hydrogen. So, tingnan nga natin kung 8, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, so ito ang kanyang expanded formula. So, tatlong carbon, 1, 2, 3, tapos 8 na hydrogen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, dahil natin yung expanded formula. So, paano yung structural formula? So, dito, sa isang carbon, ilang hydrogen na naka-attach? Tatlo, ba? Kaya, meron tayong CH3. So, dito, sa isang second carbon, ilan ang hydrogen na naka-attach? Dalawa. Kaya, meron tayong CH2. Okay? Tayong CH2. So, dito sa last, ilang carbon na naka- ilang hydrogen naka-attach? Tatlo. Kaya we have CH3. So, ang tawag natin dito ay structural formula. So, ito yun. Ay! Sorry, sorry. So, tawag natin yun. Ito. Diba? CH3, CH2, then CH3. So, yun yun. CH3, CH2, CH3. So, mapapansin nyo, tatlong formula. We have the name, profane. We have the molecular formula, C3H8. We have structural formula, ito. Then we have expanded formula. Alright, so that's all. I hope masasagotan nyo yung week 4 of About Carbon. Thank you!